Monday, morning. Today is Tuesday, August 40, 2024. I'm Dave Landry. Mark Betts go, well, P said he's staying about 1%. In fact, that puts him within 1% of their all-time high. So far, so good. But big concerns, though, as I've been preaching, when you have these V-shaped recoveries at high levels, it's very hard for the market to sustain this rally. By the time it gets all the way back to its old high, it's already super duper overbought. You know what you know, take things one day at a time. As that composite also in retrace mode. So far, so good there. It's got a ways to go to make it to all-time highs. Take a look at the rest. He also retrace in that nature. Decent day there, too. But so far, again, just retrace on this recent slide. A lot of areas that have been leaders in here have retraced quite a bit. So it looks like they could be in trouble, though. That's the max. Take a look at semiconductors. So far, just retrace it back to the 50-day moving average. Some areas are begging on new highs with a bit of vigor. Take a look at biotech. Bam, right here. Brand new highs. Major drugs also at all-time highs. Financials have made it almost all the way back to the prior highs. So what do we do? Well, the market remains very overbought. So it's kind of darn if you do and darn if you don't. If you buy it, it'll roll over. If you don't buy it, it'll keep going straight back up. For now, I think the best action is to mostly center your hands, possibly consider a short or two, but only on entries. Any questions, as usual, Dave, Dave, why not come? I'm Dave Landry. You start a market minute.